Welcome to The Buzz, your monthly show on what's happening in beautiful Bee Cave, Texas. I'm your communications director, Jenny Hoff, and I am decked out today because I am more than ready for our haunted trail, which will be happening on October 30th. Last year, hundreds of you came out to enjoy our trail that was decked out in decorations. We had candy, we had a story walk, we had a scavenger hunt. Well, this year we're going even bigger. In addition to that all ages trail, which will be happening from 4 to 6 p.m., we'll also have a trunk or treat at the end where there'll be a lot of candy to collect. And once the sun goes down, the lost souls come out from 7 to 9 p.m. For kids that need more of a fright, maybe those older kids, we will have a wonderful dark haunted trail experience with wonderful surprises or scary ones at every turn, complete with a haunted tunnel to go through. Now, if you're ready to get started on your celebrations right now, you're in luck. The Hive, the Bee Cave Arts Foundation, will be hosting a fun Halloween celebration both this weekend and the following weekend for kiddos and adults. It's $15 per kid. Adults are free to come on in here for a fully immersive experience. There will be many art projects to do, lots of interactive exhibits, and a lot of fun to be had. All of the money raised goes to help build a playscape in one of our parks. So it's a wonderful cause and it will be a fun experience for the kids to get them started on their Halloween celebrations. Now, speaking of dates tonight, note. Election Day is coming up on November 8th and you can vote right here at Bee Cave City Hall just right upstairs. If you want to avoid the long lines and vote early, come over starting on October 24th when early voting is taking place. The poll locations are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Now while you're here, you might notice some construction outside. And that's because we are starting the build out for Bee Cave's first Real Eyes Outdoor Ice Skating Rink, which will be located right here in front of the Bee Cave Library, between the library and the lawn. The rink will fit 120 people at one time, and we will have our grand opening celebration on November 5th at 5 p.m. You will not want to miss it. A Grammy Award winning singer, figure skaters, frozen characters, and lots more goodies to enjoy, all free and open to the public on November 5th. In order to skate you will need to make reservations those cost $15 per person and we will have a link on our website where you'll be able to make those reservations now speaking of our website we will be launching a new version of it at the end of this month it will be the same URL bcavetexas.gov but a brand new look much easier to find events going on in our city as well as news that you want to know about your city as well as information on public meetings public forums and open houses going on. The Bee Cave Public Library will also be getting their own website. You'll be able to search the catalog and look at all of their events. Go to beecavelibrary.org at the end of this month. Speaking of open houses, Come on out to City Hall on November 16th from 6 to 8 p.m. for an open house on the feasibility study that was conducted on whether we should build a local road from Vale Divide to Bee Cave Road. This road would allow you to go from the shops of the Galleria to LTYA soccer fields over to Summer Moon Coffee. They'll be on display the results of that study and you'll have a chance to ask questions. Now, speaking of roads. West Travis County PUA will be closing down one part of BK Parkway between Marcus Street, which is right here by the Sinesta, and Vista Ridge, which is down by Dillard's, in order to install a water main. It will take about two to three weeks. Do plan on some delays as there will be traffic moving only one lane in each direction, and you will not be able to turn left out of those two intersections. So as there will be delays, make sure you give yourself that time and you drive safely. Speaking of safety, Public Safety Day is happening on October 29th over at Lake Travis Elementary School from 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. The police, the fire, helicopters, the whole nine yards will be out there for your kids to enjoy, explore, have fun, and ask questions of our public officials, and of course, get some candy and fun swag. To stay up to date on all of the events happening in our city, follow us on our social media channels, and we are wishing you a very fun and safe Halloween season. See you next time.